Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three types of activities that you can create with TeacherMade. Let's go ahead and take a look here at TeacherMade. You'll find it at TeacherMade.com. It's one of my favorite tools that emerged during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. And if you haven't taken a look at it in a while, you should, because it's a really great tool. So let's get started here. In my Teacher Made account, I'm going to create a new activity based on this Google document that I have about Groundhog Day. I called it Groundhog Day Fun. And I want to turn this into an interactive online activity. So I'm going to go to my Google Docs menu. I'm going to download this as a PDF. And then I'll just drag it onto my desktop so I can quickly find it when I need it, which is right now where I'm going to create a new activity by uploading my PDF that I just created called Groundhog Day Fun. And so we'll upload this PDF and then we're going to turn it into an interactive online activity. And we're going to do it in the scrolling manner instead of this slide manner. You'll notice that there are some pro features and some free features in TeacherMade. The scrolling is free and available to everyone. So let's create that activity. And now we're here in the TeacherMade editor. And the first thing I need to do here is edit the activity title and call it Groundhog Day Fun. Let's save that. And now we're going to start creating our actual activity. So the first thing I'm going to add to this activity is this true and false piece where I'm going to insert the question type of multiple choice. Now I could do true false, but I'm gonna do multiple choice here just so that I can demonstrate how multiple choice would work. True, false would work in the same manner. But with multiple choice, I simply select where I want to put the boxes, the little bubbles, I should say, or circles that students will click on. And you can see here, I can do two answers, three answers, four answers, and a two by two, up to eight answer options. I'm gonna have no letters applied next to them. And my point total, I can say do not score or give it anywhere between one and 10 points. Let's give it five points for the sake of this demo. And we wanna show that right there, true is the correct answer. So I've created my answer key while doing this. Now let's scroll down here and take a look at my fill in the blank of how much blank would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Well, instead of doing multiple choice, let's now insert into this the option for a little short answer in here. Now you can see I have some other choices available to me, but I'm gonna use this little short answer and I'm going to have it appear right there on that line. Now again I can set my point value, correct answers, I'm going to have wood and if a student capitalizes wood for some reason I'll give them points for that as well so I'll accept it as all lowercase or capitalized. Now you can see here I have the option for answers must match the choice to be correct or not. And I can allow partial match if I want as well. And ignore punctuation marks is also an option there. So let's save our answer choices and you'll see wood is now filled in there. And now for our third question, a short answer or open response, I'm going to insert open answer instead of short answer. I'm going to do open answer and I'll put in that box where students will be able to type. Now 
Because this is an open response, it's very difficult to have it automatically graded. And I'm going to have to manually grade this one myself. Or I can say that I'm not going to score that one. But in this case here, I am going to score it. I'm going to give it five points. So now I've set up my activity and I'm ready to share it with my students. I'm going to do that right now. But before we do that, let's just make sure it all looks correct. So let's click on that preview button and we'll see here. This is how my students going to see it. They're going to see this page. They'll be able to click on it, be able to fill this in and they can write everything they want down here. This is an interesting question, Mr. Byrne has given us. And they can write that all the way through and they can scroll down and when they're done, get the score. Now I'm gonna close out of this because this is just the preview. We wanna actually give this to our students now. So to give this to my students, I'm gonna to go to the close me the file menu and close this out. And we'll see, there's my Groundhog Day fun. And I'm now going to create an assignment out of this Groundhog Day fun activity. And we can see how will this assignment be delivered. Now, if I have a pro account, I can sync to my Google Classroom, Canvas, or Schoology accounts, as you can see right there. Or if I'm using the free version, I can just use TeacherMade, select Next, and students will sign into the assignment using either a Google account or using a name or ID. And in this case here, if I choose a Google account, we'll now click Next. And you can see here's a little tutorial here. And I'm gonna say students can check answers before submission, yes or no. Uh, we'll just say no, and we'll display their score as points earned, make assignment hidden after submission, and when work is returned, we'll show them the correct answers. And we can see all the student tools that they have available to them right there. So let's go ahead now and save that. And I wanna give this to my students, so I simply give them that link, you can see, I can also share it to Google Classroom or to Microsoft Teams, but I can simply give my students that link to complete the assignment. And so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to a student. So a student will get the link and they'll land on this page where they can then begin with their Google accounts. In this case here, my dog Mason is going to be our demo student. And he's going to take a look at the assignment right now. He's going to answer it. True. I don't think that groundhogs can accurately predict when spring will start. After all, they have very small brains. I think they just wake up from hibernation when they get hungry. Okay. Now, he's filled it out. We can even see the word count. And you can see some of the other tools that are up here can increase the text size. There's an option for recording audio. Now again, some of these features are premium features, but increasing the text size is available to all users. And let's go ahead and he can submit it and say, yes, he is all done. His activity submission has succeeded. They can close out of that. And as the teacher here, I can refresh and I can see that Mason has submitted this activity 
and I can now review that submission. And we can see down here, we're going to need to take a look at his response. And the final score is 100% based on these two. But we're going to need to do auto plus teacher to give points for this. So five points. Fifteen out of fifteen is our total score. And it's now returned to the student. So that's how you can create three types of activities in TeacherMade for free. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.